I, I imagine that there has been some reaction internally. Um, what we are saying is that NATO does have the obligation to arrest these people if encountering them, and that there have been many instances that are publicly known where, in fact, NATO has encountered people, um, indicted war criminals, and in fact, um, according to our whereabouts list, that, that we do know where a lot of these people are. Well, how did you find them? Well, it was quite easy. I didn't find them directly, but it's, it's simply a compilation of um, various news reports um, put together by reporters here in the U.S. who have spent some time in the field there, as well as uh, human rights observers over there um, that, have fit, that have fed us the information, so just putting it together. Take two, uh, I was early. We call on the Palais leadership to end this rhetoric. Uh, Karadzic and his cronies should stop throwing kerosene on the fire. They should knock it off and realize that in order to give their people a future, they need to get with the program, get with the Dayton Agreement, and start uh, and stop the harassment, stop the intimidation, and Probably stop the rhetoric. The Dayton are acting foolishly. They're, they're stupid because they're it's uh, foolish to believe that the Bosnian Serbs can wait out the international community. We are determined to see the Dayton Accords implemented. We are going to ensure that any assistance, any return to Europe, any reintegration of the people there will be dependent upon and contingent upon compliance with the peace agreement signed at Dayton. So uh, if, if the people in Pale don't realize that their behavior, their threatening rhetoric, their attempt to undermine the Dayton Accords um, uh, doesn't hurt their people and is therefore foolish, uh, we're trying to educate them on that subject. In effect, gave the Banya Luka 